I always like to start from the point that uh, every Iowan has a role to play in this. Every Iowan is affected by water quality and, and every Iowan therefore has an opportunity to impact water. And that can be in big ways and small ways and in town and in the country and, and wherever you live, whatever you do. And I think that's one of the things we want to always leave folks with is an ask or a, a charge, if you will, to join us, to do something, to think of in big ways and small ways how you can have a positive impact. Everything from where do your grass clippings go? Are they in the street? How do you spread fertilizer in town too? Should I be using cover crops, no-till, terraces, and those types of things in the farm setting. So that's one of the core elements that we have tried to bring to this whole discussion in Iowa is that every landscape matters, urban, rural, suburban, it's all in play. And so that really takes us to the nutrient reduction strategy, which we're now commemorating the 10th anniversary of launching that. And it's unique. Kind of going back to basics a little bit on that strategy because, you know, it's been 10 years since we were really talking about the formation of it. A couple things that are core to it, essential to it. One is that it envisions how we can improve water quality in the non-point and the point source, the urban, the rural, it's all included. This is not just an ag water quality strategy or an urban water quality strategy or a wastewater strategy. It's all of the above. Partnering with the DNR, Iowa State University, and uh, looking at that whole landscape. Second thing is that at its core, it has a science assessment. Never been done before. Iowa was the first to do it. Iowa State University did something first of its kind, a science assessment that, that really drove the development of the strategy. What they did is they looked at the science associated with every practice. Cover crops have a, on average, a 30% reduction of phosphorus and nitrogen leaving an acre that's got a cover crop. The science tells us that. A wetland has a 50 to 90% reduction of nitrate capability, depending on how long water flows through, right? The science tells us that. And we built that into the strategy, and that's the core, the basis of us being able to go out, invest in practices, and know that there's a corresponding nutrient reduction. Other states have now followed suit. They've done similar science assessments. They've modeled their strategies after ours. But that's some of the back to basics that I like to talk through is that our strategy includes all of that. And it should because it's, uh, again, it affects everyone in the state.